Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock. Last time, when we left off, we had finished the laser mission and had just arrived on level 3, the maintenance level, so let's pick it up there. One quick thing, it turns out, at, when I destroyed the laser, <coughs> something happened back on the reactor level, which I feel like taking care of. That something is a new Security 2 bot that I'd rather, I'd just rather deal with him now than later. We'll just zerg him since I'm out of mag pulse ammo. There. He died. So let's search him now. He had a hollow tip 2100 clip, which is always handy. Now let's head to the energy recharge station. to the surgical bed. One thing you might also notice is there's also a spawn security 2 bot back here in our radiation treatment zone, so we'll take care of him now too. Overload seems to be like a good idea. As soon as I'm sure I can hit him. Maybe I should turn off the booster for now. Straightforward. There we go. This looks. This looks good. Nice and simple.
Okay, we need to go back to the energy station now. This is it. I just want to make sure that the level stays as clean as it can. Both of these guys spawned in when we destroyed the laser. Because the game knew, even if we didn't, that we'd eventually have to come back here. My hope is that by then, I'll have sufficient uh, hardware upgrades to see the remaining 20% level security on my map without having to track it down. And down he goes. Good. Now he was carrying a heavy slug 2100 clip. Very good. All right, one more time to the energy station. Now I want to look at my full map one more time. Just trolling for the security I missed. It's, it's got to be either in the center of the reactor or down that little abbreviated hallway in the northeast. In fact, let me go check that out really quick. I should have done this in the last video, but it was running long as it was. Well, let's check back where Shodan yelled at us, too. I think that's a good idea. Ah, oh, see, there's one hopper left alive in there. <clears throat> well, I thought the overload was a good idea on it, but... Then my gun got too hot to use. That's okay, we'll f finish him off with one or two more shots. Alright, he's down. Back once again to our handy rechargers. Including the reactor level healing suite. No, excuse me. Alright. I did learn what Shodan said in here before we, uh, before we died and she unfortunately decided to stop talking. It's one of her better lines, too. She says, Welcome to my death machine, interloper. I also looked up what that puzzle did when we solved it and it turned the lights on in here. So there's that. Well, there's nothing left in here. That goes into the reactor core, which I will look at momentarily. But for now, I feel like there is at least one more passage that I just didn't get into. I'm not quite sure how to get to it, but I can see it on my map and I know it's there. I tried all the different variations of this area. I'm fairly confident this is not where I need to be. It would help if the hacker could make those little jumps.
Okay, we're back in here. Come on, just make the jump out, dude. That's the easiest thing, right? Uh, apparently not. Okay, maybe I shouldn't sprint. There we go, good. Okay. The other way I see is right around this corner. Hidden door. Is Shodan's remaining level security back here? It ought to be, but I doubt it. Yeah, that's... Nothing but one more little path out. Which is handy all on its own, but... Okay, to me that suggests the remaining security is inside the core, central core itself. I'm gonna stick my head in there one last time just for giggles to try and confirm that. Because this is the laser safety override. We've been in there. The only place I haven't been is inside the actual core. Again, sorry about the radiation crackling. Well, I didn't get the confirmation I craved, but that pretty much has to be it, simply because there's nothing else on this level. So, with all that done, let's head back up to level three, secure in the knowledge that everything behind us that can be eliminated has been eliminated. So the maintenance level, let me give you an overview of this. Uh, technically there's not much to do here right now, but I'm gonna explore it since we're here. As far as reinforcements go, there are two things to be aware of. The Inviso Mutants start out with a population of seven, and if we drop that below four, they respawn infinitely. So there's no point in killing in fact, it's counterproductive to kill more than three Inviso mutants. Similarly, there's an infinite supply of Security 1 bots, but we have a lot more leeway. There are 21 of them, and the respawn occurs if the population dips below five. So just remember, we will not kill, we can only kill three Inviso mutants, and we can only kill 16 Security 1 bots. With that in mind, let's venture out. That was our first Inviso Mutant. So with him down, I can only kill two more. And I already need to... I already need to run back to the healing suite. 
on the reactor level. At least until we flip the conversion switch, we'll be treating the reactor level much like we treated the medical level when we were exploring Deck 2. Especially with the turbo booster. Alright, I can kill two more invisible mutants. That's it. I should probably graduate to using a better weapon on them. Let's go around this corner. There's a destroy- there's a maintenance robot. There's another one. He's got nothing. There's another one. He's got nothing. And there's one more. He all he, whoa, he's got a battery pack. I'll go ahead and use it. Just to keep a little open inventory space. And now let's head around this corner. Maintenance office. The door is locked. Blocked by Shodan level security. Diagnostic logs. There's nothing in there now. Let's destroy Shodan's computer node. Maybe. That's sufficient to drop level security to 62%. Now there's a dart gun on the ground. We already have one of those. And we get the third reactor number. It's five. Give me just a moment to write that down. I'll remind you once again, these are not set in stone. They are randomized every game. So if you play, you'll have to make sure to write these down yourself. That dropped level security to 62%. See, the image is more distorted, but that's not nearly enough to open the maintenance office. We destroy the camera, it's down to 59%. Still insufficient. Oh, look, Shodan. On the screens. Now we've got a bunch of cameras right here around the elevator. So let's take them out too. 55%, 51%, 48%, With all those destroyed, can I do it? No, but you see the image is even more distorted now. Which means her hold on this level is weakening, which is what we want. Oh yeah, let's zoom my map out. <laughs> Let's head down this hallway for now. Always being careful. Through this service access door, we find Gamma Maintenance. Door locked, no maintenance required. There's a Nitro Pack, which we'll carry with us. What else is back here? Nothing, that's it. Most of the maintenance level is inaccessible to us now anyway, but we'll explore everything we can, as, as per my usual style. What about this blast door? Let's just use the spark beam. Your 
Maybe we should just beat this thing. Okay, that also didn't work as well as I hoped. I tell you folks, those damned Inviso mutants are stronger than I remember. What else do I have? Maybe I should use my foot chat on it. That didn't work either. Man, why can't I kill this thing? Nothing is working fast enough. Maybe a gas grenade. Alright, grenades aren't working for me either. I guess the real answer is just to be more careful. Well, maybe I should try tranquilizer darts. You know what, let's skip this for now, if only because, if memory serves, there's a better weapon coming up shortly. Level security's down to 40%. Let's check this little niche. There's an AM Hornet clip. Well, that's nice. Doesn't do much for me on its own, but there it is. Need to be careful of those Inviso mutants anyway, I could only kill two more. Down here, the door is locked, but you can see there's a switch right there, and lo and behold, here's the conversion chamber. Oh good. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Alright, now we can act with... More or less, <gasps> act with impunity. <gasps> Heck, let's just pipe him to death. Since we can zerg him and he's right there. There he is. They can be hard to track down. They are invisible. <laughs> anyway, once we kill him, we can only kill one more. <laughs> Without spawning a bunch more in here in a process, I just don't really want to mess with. Come on. Down he goes. And now with that done, let's check this room out. We got crates. This one's got some goodies in it. Sight vision enhancement patches, three of them. Let's grab those up. Since I can only kill one more, I want to save it for something that's actually in my way that I cannot just dodge around. The one in this room does not qualify. 
no matter how aggressively it tries to hump my leg. Alright, just a little more. Okay. Now this freight elevator door can take us to deck four or to deck five. Hey, look, a switch. Oh, what's down here? Concussion bomb. Concussion bomb. Debris. Now that is actually pretty handy. It looks like there's a camera in the corner of this room, too, so... Let's find and destroy that. Maybe it's in the hallway just outside, who knows. I am wondering where that mutant went. Since I did not destroy it. Anyway, let's keep wandering around. Here's another blast door. This takes us to Delta Maintenance, which we can't open since there's no maintenance required. Human Corpse. Severed Head. Mark III Penetrator Shells. AM Hornet Clip. Head Mounted Lantern. V1. Finally, we get some light if we need it. Looks like we have three logs sitting on the ground here, so let's pick them up. Girin, November 1st, 2072. I'm the only one left for our original group. Shodan holds the bridge now. I have to get there somehow and plug into the main terminal. So far, I've been up as high as engineering, which looks like a big maze. From the central hub, you can get anywhere you need to. I guess it's up to me. Alright, here's Girin, November 2nd, 2072. Just back from the security level. It's been remade. If anyone gets there, take repulsor lifts to the ledges and move counterclockwise around the level. The elevator to the bridge is missing, but there's a maintenance elevator inside a shaft in the center of the level. There's a force bridge leading to it, but I couldn't find it. Good luck. And here's gear in November 3rd, 2072. I made another attempt on the bridge, but I got hit on the security level. Cyborgs hunted me down and I escaped by crawling through the security shafts, cutting myself badly. I'm going to have to wait, and then make another try. Okay. <clears throat> now the corpse is empty, and there's nothing else in here. Let's head out for now. Now in this corner... Oh. I think we found another invisible mutant. Maybe we'll kill that one, make it our last invisible mutant kill, but... There's a recharge station here, with a camera on it. Security's now 37%. Be aware, you take a little damage if you use that power station. You know, I'd rather leave that one alone, too. Unless something really gets in my way. Now as we head over here, another camera. Security's down to 33%. Let's check out this blast door. Relay analyzer has a keypad, which I obviously don't know the code for. I got a mutant there, looks like it's just chillin'. But I can, in fact, get around it into this little vent, which in turn takes me to this little stash, which just has a magnum, which would be useful if I didn't already have one. 
So well, that's it for now in that room. That room? There's that camera we saw earlier. If I could just get a good shot. Alright, level security's down to 29%. And through that door is the freight elevator. Access to decks 4 and 5. Let's keep going. Let's check out... Well, let's destroy that camera. Level security's down to 25. Let's destroy that one, too. Down to 22. Now let's check this room out. Another mutant in here. That button turns on the lights, which is always handy. Alright, I know where three of the mutants are. What would be really handy is if I could trap them somewhere without killing them. Like, this little pit would actually be perfect. wonder if I can pull that off. Hard to say. As far as the rest of this room, that's alpha maintenance. Can't get in there. There's a log in here, which we'll listen to once the mutant is dealt with one way or another. Is he even in here? No. He did not follow me in here. Where did he go then? There he is. Come on, Hoss. Right in here, you know you want to. Where did he go? There he is. Whatever, let's just leave it be. It's not like we really have to worry. Now that this room's empty, I can finally take a shot at that camera. Drop security to 18%. And we can... Give a listen to that log we found in here. Harvey, October 18th, 2072. It'll be over soon. And soon I'll die. This pain will end. I can't even recognize my own damn arm. Shodan's virus. I can see. Oh god, I can see through my own body. And there's another virus in the grove. God, let me die. Please. <clears throat> Alright. Now. Here's another elevator. This one gives us access to deck 6, which is our next destination. But, let's listen to this log from Fortier, September 6th, 2072. I got together that inventory you asked for. It's all in the storage compartment near the beta maintenance closet. There's one navigation and mapping unit, one EMP grenade, six interface demodulators, four holotip 2100s, and three needle darts. Most of the stuff is emergency supplies. I'm keeping the demodulators there until I find a better place for them. Alright. So this hallway leads us back to the elevator with reactor level and research level access. Here's a puzzle to solve. And as you can see, it is the most complicated wire puzzle we've run into yet. There are no mutants around right now. Let's hope it stays that way. Ah, uh, that was wishful thinking, wasn't it? I don't know where that little prick came from, but he's here.
on in, Holmes. Turn on my stupid light so I can see. He's not gonna come in, is he? Doesn't want to. There he comes. <gasps> now what would really be great is if I could trap him in that pit. I don't have too much hope of that actually happening, but, you know, maybe. Hey, there he went. Beautiful. Well, that's one I don't have to worry about. I did that on purpose. I wanted more health. Now let's get back to solving that wire puzzle. This is the default state. <clears throat> so, no, 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 no. Looks like that red should stay where it is. How about this one? That was a good move. Okay. That was not. That was not. Okay, what about you? No good. No good. No good. What about this one? Okay, let's mess with this side now. Let's start at the top. That was no good. That was no good. I think that actually helped a little bit. That was no good. No. 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 Okay, we're getting somewhere now.
Got to keep playing with this. Bam! And then, suddenly, there it is. Finally. Here's an energy recharge station that will not hurt us to use. That's handy. In the meantime, let's troll around in here and see what else we find. Here's a deactivated repulsor. The crate has nothing in it. Here's a log, Fortier, April 30th, 2072. Let's give that a listen. Guess what, Jody? Looks like seating in the viewing room is limited. And guess who gets first dibs? Yep, the execs. I guess the maintenance crews will be getting in in about six months or so. We hit that button, that activates this repulsor lift. Which gives me access to an EMP grenade. Interface demodulators. Which... I don't really know what those are. I have no use for them right now. Here is everything else he talked about. Three needle darts. Navigation and mapping unit V2. Which gives me what? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't see anything else. But... Four hollow tip 2100 clips. Always good. Now this button deactivates the repulsor so we can come back down. Over here, we have beta maintenance. Door locked, no maintenance required. There's an AM Hornet clip. There's another invisible mutant. <gasps> There's another AM Hornet clip. As far as the <gasps> mutant goes, let's just try and pull it around a little bit. And we'll head out this blast door. Then I'll close it behind me. Now over in this corner, we've got a lump of clothes, a severed limb, and a sense around multi view unit V2. That still just gives me rear view. Let me, uh. There's a list of what all the hardware upgrades do. Let me just see what the, uh. Nav unit and, uh. All right, here, let me let me just walk myself through everything I have so far. So I have the Bioscan V2. Version 1 gave me a health and fatigue diagnosis, and it cost energy. V2, which I have, doesn't cost any energy, still gives me a health and fatigue diagnosis, and it also tells me if I have any active patch effects. There's that. View control. Full screen mode gets rid of the HUD. I don't really need it, but we start the game with that. Next, we have the sensor round. That first version was a rear view and apparently it updates slowly. Whereas now, with version two, my rear view updates quickly. My head mounted lantern, version one, provides a dim light. My energy projectile shield 
just uh version one uses 20 uses 24 jpm of energy and it absorbs 20 percent of all damage so that's good there's one i don't have yet my compass it's my navigation and mapping unit so i get the terrain scanner which is this version one gave me this terrain scanner and this compass version two has updated my compass as you can see i have these hash marks in addition to the overall directions and it also shows robots on my navigational compass so that actually is pretty ha on my terrain scanner i mean so that's actually pretty handy multimedia data reader no difference there booster version one doesn't use any energy the skates raise me to 20 percent of my maximum speed and that last one i don't have yet also, my target identifier. Version 1 just gives me the target range and the identification. And that's all I have. Ah, yes, and the system analyzer. Monitors. The station. Anyway. Is that everything? Not quite. One more service access door I haven't gone into. Back here we find a dart gun, an AM Hornet clip, a human corpse with nothing, a human corpse with nothing, a meta patch on the ground. Ah, you see that gray dot back there? That would be a robot. Cool. So all that leaves then is to check and see if I can open the maintenance office yet. Not quite, even with all the security reduction I've accomplished so far, so... Let me just look and make sure there's nothing I've left undone that I could actually do. I can't get into any of the four maintenance quadrants, and I've been everywhere, and I can't get into the maintenance office yet, and I've been everywhere else, so... Let's run downstairs and heal up. Now, let's recharge. We've done everything we can here for now. So, we will head to the executive level, level six. I'll zoom my map out. I'll hear some intimidating noises. And I will save the game. I'll make a new save, starting off level six. And I will thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play System Shock. All we really accomplished this time was exploring level three. Next time, as we explore level six, our mission will actually prog progress because level six is where Shodan is cultivating the virus, so. We'll get started on that next time. Until then, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.